for Mike Asherson, everybody. Mike Asherson. <laughs> Hey, I feel like walking. What's up, y'all? Cool, cool. It's a lit crowd. Uh, I was supposed to get ass tonight, but she canceled, so you guys are my excitement. Make some noise. Make some noise <laughs> for being the substitute ass that I needed. Yeah, All right, this is cool. <laughs> Oh man, it's good to be here. I was working today. I work in the food industry. Make some noise, you're working in the food industry. Um, cool, of course you do. You're in this place now. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm a server. Uh, I work at a very fancy restaurant in the city. Uh, five star quality. It's one of the top restaurants out right now. You probably heard of it. It's a little place called the OG. Yeah, it's a cool way to say Olive Garden, baby. Uh, I'm an Olive Garden server. Yeah. <laughs> Grass takes it down. Look at you already using me for food. Mm, shame. Yeah, man, at the Olive Garden, we have a lot of awkward moments. Uh, I had an awkward moment last week. I was taking care of a white family, right? And they just got done with their dinner. So, you know, as a server, I got to ask that question Hey, guys, you want some dessert? And a little white kid raises his hand and says, Ooh, ooh, I want dessert. I'm like, Cool, my man. What can I get you? He said, Hmm, I want a brownie. Hey. You're brown. <laughs> Is it okay if I call you Brownie? And as you can imagine, the parents were terrified. <laughs> they were like, oh, oh, we don't know where you got this from. And the first thought that came to my mind was, oh my God, I'm gonna get a good tip now. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm not work hard no more. Oh, this is perfect. Woo. Like, I low key wish the kid would have said the N horse could pay my rent that day. You know? <laughs> like, come on, Blake, give me a good hard R. Uh, <laughs> I'll give you two parents for the slurs. Get me out this hole, man. But really, though, man, I need to get, you guys gotta tip the service, man. I always tip the service when you go out. Uh, recently, I just got the best tip of my life, and it wasn't even money. I was taking care of these two moms and these two little girls, and I'm killing this shit. I'm giving them drinks, food, got the kids a free dessert. They all fell in love with me. So I'm in the lobby waiting for my next table. And one of the moms walk up, and she said, Psst. Hey, Mike, I got a little something for you. And she put her hand out. I'm like, oh, snap. What can it be? Like a $20 bill, maybe a phone number or something. She opens her hand and puts it in mine. And when I opened my hand up, it was shrooms. <laughs> yes. This white suburban mom dropped three shrooms in my hand, a fucking Olive Garden, guys. Yeah. And I took them all right there. <laughs> yeah. Like, whatever. I got cut, I'm phased, it don't matter. Like, I'm about to get out of here. And let me tell you guys something. Like, doing shrooms while you're working at a restaurant is fun until you're on a bad trip, you don't know how to talk no more. Uh, for example, I went to go greet a table. Turns out I was actually talking to a table. <laughs> Quite the experience. But man, I used to have a lot of crappy jobs though. You guys like smoke before you go to work? Yeah. I'm not a narc, guys. Like, it's cool. You get high, but like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I used to work at a job where you don't want to go to work high. Uh, I used to work at Chipotle Mexican Grill. Yeah. And the problem was, right, I got so high. I started rolling my burritos the same way I rolled my blunts. <laughs> I was 20, I the customers not so much. They were like, yo, my man, you give my burrito or what? And I'm like, nah, bro. <laughs> you didn't put in on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Take your leech man to Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm back in the dating world, guys. It sucks, man. It sucks. I didn't know pussy was so expensive. Did you guys know that? <laughs> he laughed because you know it's true. Like, man, I'm in the hole right now. Like, he didn't want to laugh because his girl's right there. But no, it is, man. Like, it really is. I, I gotta go. If you go on a date with a girl, make, make sure she's on the same financial level as you. You know? It's embarrassing when she finds out your lifestyle. I was on a date with a girl once. You know, she was hungry. She said, ooh, babe, I'm hungry. I'm like, cool, girl, let's get something to eat. 
whatever you want, on me, my tree. She was like, ooh, I want some hibachi. <laughs> hibachi. That's a funny way to say Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, baby. Let's go to hibachi and get you a nice frosty on me. <laughs> Maybe they'll toss a nugget in your mouth. Who knows? <laughs> but no, nah, man, I've had some bad dates. Uh, I had a bad day very recently. It was mad scary. She was cool, man, up front. You know, she was this beautiful black chick, smart, funny, and most importantly, she was woke. But she got real drunk and she got way too woke, which is a scary thing to happen, all right? We was at the bar drinking, and in comes this white dude, and he's wearing no shoes, right? To the point, it triggered her, and she yelled out, I hate white people! And don't get me wrong, I do too. But what made it bad was that our waitress was right there. And she looked at me, and I looked at her, and I was like, damn, now I gotta leave her a good tip. Uh, anyway, that's my time. Yo, Mike, actually. So my crowd work, man, I don't like going straight to my jokes, that's weird. Like I just went yeah. and I started high-fiving people, so hey, we all in this together. Yeah. And then I said like, uh, I was supposed to have an ass appointment tonight, but it got canceled. So, you, so you guys are my ass appointment, man. <laughs> okay. They like that, though. They're like, oh, he's gonna have like that. <laughs> they like that. They can relate, they're like, yeah, me too. That's yeah, a me too. comedy yeah. show. Right? I, I looked at the four single guys on the right, like, yeah, yeah, all right. So, <laughs> they're like, yeah, me too. They're like, no, we're just high. They were. I think the girls moved though, so I was like, cool. How do you feel about it? <laughs> it was fine. It was a fine set. Oh. Well. Fine? What's fine mean? I mean, it wasn't great. It was there. I told jokes. They laughed. Really? You know, like, it was like, man. Like a yeah. solid man. And I think much of it, but then like the dude from the bar said, hey, I remember you. I remember your Olive Garden joke. You want to do the show? Uh, oh, yeah. Booked off the show? Yes. That's I did. Like I did, guys. That's I got booked off the show. That's how you should do this show, baby. Exactly. Because other bookers are sometimes Who they're never gonna be here. Who booked me? Don't worry about it, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, so you're talking about, about the Olive Garden job. What other jobs have you had, or is that your only? Man, I worked at Olive Garden. I worked at Abercrombie & Fitch. I worked at UPS. What? Uh, I worked at every job. Do you, so do you have jokes really about those jobs, or is? I just what do you ever? What do you ever pull from that? I guess. I used to have a joke about Abercrombie and Fitch about how like high key races. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It was though, cause like they had all the good looking white people in the front, like all the minorities in the back and shit. Really? Yeah, bro. Like my manager, like he was like German and shit. So like, Yo, he stayed true to character. Yeah. He's like, awesome he, shit. like yeah. It was, I, the joke was like, uh, it's like two different TV shows. Yeah. You know, like the front of the store is like Saved by the Bell. In the back of the store is like the wire. <laughs> or like power yeah. or something. So like, that's good, that's good, man. Yeah, but it doesn't really work unless you watch even show. Oh, yeah, that's fair, that's fair. You may get something like more generic. Yeah, but. I don't know, it's more generic. UPS, why not UPS? I don't know, man. There's not much to say about UPS. Like, <laughs> we throw your guys' boxes, we don't give a fuck about it. That's okay, okay. Yeah. Like, you know what's weird? It was like a mass hiring, and I knew it was a shitty job because, like, people were showing up wearing, like, <laughs> like fucking G unit shirts and like jeans <laughs> and like work boots. I'm like, damn, bro, like this is gonna be ass. Anyone's getting here, yeah. Yeah, I'm wearing my khakis and best polo shirt. Like, no, it was. I hated that job. With did you actually do mushrooms at work? Is that a fictional bit? I did get shrooms, but I didn't have to work. You didn't have to. You gotta embellish it, you know. Yeah. You know, like I'm not a maniac. I ain't gonna take no <laughs> shrooms in the middle of a restaurant. Like busiest, like your peak hour. You have very many stories of like people doing drugs in restaurants, like, like that work there. I heard stories of cooks like doing like acid coke? and shit. Or, like yeah, maybe not yeah, acid. Well, but... I mean, people done coke, you know. Like, I took like a, I did take. Have a you done coke at work? I don't really do coke. I just do weed and psychedelics, man. I got you. I don't like something that makes me up and like. Yeah. You, you, know. you I hate to be productive at work, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm mellow as hell. Like uh, plus, I'm already like kind of like in your face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of, especially at work, so I don't want to see myself like Super Saiyan mode, you know? <laughs> just yelling at people? Yeah, just ah, yelling. Like, ah, like, like I'm, I don't know, I think Coke is for me. Coke is for you? It's not for me. It it's looks lovely, but I'm like... Like, you look at that camera and say, Coke is not for me. Coke is not for me. Unless oh. you want it to be. 
Oh yeah, yeah, okay. This guy's open to coke. I'm like, so I, I like, I get famous and rich to do coke. I feel like it's a reward drug. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? you got to earn it, baby. Yeah, you gotta earn. it. I feel like too many bums do coke. You know, like <laughs> you don't see someone who should be doing coke. Yeah. And, like it's an expensive drug. Yeah, like you, you, you haven't earned this yet. Like everybody in my job, like forty year old niggas working at all going doing coke. Stop. It's not. <laughs> you didn't earn this shit yet, man. Yeah, exactly. That's good, man.